one of two opportunities for Mark he or she to take back time on Thibaut Nays. Probably wouldn't be any gaps, but there could be, well, there would be bonus seconds available in the finish, starting in Budapest, then two local laps to finish out west of Budapest for an uphill kick in Etiek. The breakaway, a little bit stronger today, actually with a decent sprinter like Dusan Rajevic and Case Bowl. And so you don't want to go to the finish. I mean, Case Bowl even on this finish might not be so bad himself, but Astana also got Gazzoli who won the Arctic race uphill kick last year. Uh, but there's a crash in the peloton. Robbie Daunt, I think he might have crashed yesterday as well in that gravel or like had an issue in front of uh, Frank Vandenbroek. But getting onto the final lap, they take a look at the finish line. Uh, Con car chasing for Lidl Trek flares going off in the Hungarian national colors. And it's for UAE today because they're behind on GC. Thibaut Nace, he may be the stage favorite, particularly after winning on the hilltop or mountaintop finish yesterday. Uh, and he's even quicker in these sort of finishes in Romandy. And there's a Swiss one-day race, I can't remember what, maybe the Canton Argao, where he dusted everybody, like put them on 10 bike lengths in an uphill kick similar to this last year or the year before. So he's seriously quick in these sort of finishes. But you ain't got to try something because there's tomorrow, which is a harder circuit with some a proper hilly circuit. Uh, but coming into the climb, breakaway brought back actually as that starting just about. Uh, so pretty good timing from Astana. It's a right-hander, but because the breakaway gets there just first, Ryevich comes out of Puccio's wheel and is like, why not just have one last dig and try and get there. Merku pulls out of the line, and UAE are lining it out behind Ryevich. Case Bowl, the big figure, sliding back. Got Gazzoli getting into the UAE train, but actually, here she's on Ulysses' wheel and losing a few positions. Thibaut Nace on the right of him, and he eventually gets, I think, Fabio Fellini to begin leading it out with Matthias Varchek once again on the wheel with about 900 meters to go. Ulysses, because people are sliding. If you if someone drops the wheel in front of you whilst they're doing 40 kilometers an hour up this sort of hill, it takes a huge effort to get back to the wheel, maybe 30 kilometers an hour rather. And so Thibaut Nice and Little Trek do a perfect job once again. Here she's, I think on what, pulls wheel, maybe eighth wheel. That's not where he wants to be. So does he make the effort to jump up and go into the wind to get onto the Thibaut Nice wheel? Does he sit in the draft and hope that Little Trek slow down? The problem for him is he starts to jump and try to move up whilst riders are sliding down, whilst Varchek begins his pull really hard. Buchmann does the same thing, moving up, but that costs a huge amount of energy. You see here, she's trying to move up here in the wind because everyone's dropping the wheel. The Polti Kometa guy just pulled out in front of him, so he's got to close that gap. Ulysses in front of him. Buchmann's going to leave a gap, and so then he's got to come around Buchmann, and Nace is just looking around like... Well, I'm just going to wait on Varchek for as long as possible. I'm sitting pretty in second wheel. He's setting a super hard tempo that's putting everybody else in the bin. And Gazzoli's about to basically drop the wheel of Nace. So if he or she doesn't start jumping here, probably Nace wins by 10, 15 bike lengths. But he looks back, sees here she's coming, jumps maybe earlier than he wanted to with 150 or so to go. And we've got this long agonizing sprint could he or she have won in better position against nice no i don't think so Thibaut nice was super good today and we've seen how dominant he is in these sort of sprints he seemed like he was just doing the minimum to get the job done but it didn't hurt that his team little track did such a good job lining it out chasing the break and then lining it out particularly with varchek at the end super impressive once again he or she best of the rest could they have played numbers yesterday? Mm, not really on the climb UAE. It looked like Ulysses couldn't go when uh, Bookman was attacking, for example. Tomorrow's another day, though. I mean, they got to try tomorrow UAE with the two numbers. It's the only thing they got against Thibaut Nace because uphill, whether it's short, whether it's long, he's been the best out of uh, everybody in the last couple of days. Maybe a long, long mountain Bookman would have been the best, but... We don't have a long, long mountain here. Tomorrow's a hilly circuit. And Nace, after finishing, maybe he wasn't just doing it on easy mode. He's like, I'm going to take a seat. I mean, you can't park there, but he decides to anyway. I'm going to take a lie down in this grass. You know, it's 24 degrees. Why not have a rest uh, and take a little nap? Fair enough. And what next for Thibaut Nace? You know, like, he didn't do the big World Tour cobble classics or hill classics, I don't think, this year again. 
clearly should be good at them. Winning ahead of Hishi, then Voisard, Serrano, Rodriguez, uh, Locks, Van Hoek, Van der Broek, Ulisi and Bookman rounding out the top 10. Here's what Nays had to say after the stage. I looked back and I saw Hirschi coming and I was a bit afraid that he was going to come over. But I think we, we felt the same and we kept also the same pace. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's almost, I, 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 I can't describe how much I want to thank my team. Uh, they did everything so, so good to put in the right position. And because they also gave me this confidence and uh, this teamwork, I can, I can finish it off. So um, I'm just a small part in this, uh, in this victory. And it's, uh, it's as much from the team as, as from me. You planned that you were attacked where you attacked? Yeah, but... I mean, we went quite fast already in the beginning of the climb and I think it put everyone on the limit already. And uh, in a perfect scenario, I wanted to, to have my sprint a little bit more explosive, but the pace was so high that I could not uh, really uh, accelerate faster. And it was a, a long way to the finish line. Uh, it was, it was, it was really hard. It was painful. In terms of GC, he extends his gap by another four seconds on here. She and more on Ulisi. Now it's a comfortable gap where even if he doesn't win the stage tomorrow or doesn't take any bonus seconds, as long as he finishes on the same time as anybody else, he should win GC. But we'll see. Tomorrow, UAE got to throw the kitchen sink as well as Bora Hansgrohe at Little Trek. Hopefully it's a good stage. I'll see you with the recap tomorrow night. Ciao.